Hi guys, me again. I just wanted to jump in and remind everybody that our summer solstice giveaway is still going on. Um, if you haven't heard about it, we announced it last week on May 29th. It's going from May 29th through June 17th at midnight Eastern Standard Time. You can win one of the four bars in our summer solstice collection. And we are going to announce the winner on June 17th. So I just wanted to make sure that y'all remembered that it was still going on. All you have to do to be entered to win one of the bars of soap is be a subscriber. That's it. It's real simple. So enjoy vacation. I had such a great time making this. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty's Soap Kitchen. Today we are doing another great soap and this is part of the collaboration that we do with many, 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 many other soapers that Renee Cromalis from Soaps for Love puts together. Um, which we are very thankful to her that she has asked us back. Um, this is a, uh, the collaboration is focused on water. Uh, there was a quote in the email that Renee left. S says, water is one of the most important resources we have. It brings life with it and we can't survive without it. And that's a very, very true. The criteria for this particular collaboration is some form of blue, and we have to have at least two distinct layers. And in those two layers, we have to use a different technique for each of them. And embeds and piping are optional. Now, I have a plumberry pink in here for my first layer. I am uh, going to also fill up this mold. It's lips. Um, this has this is a different project, but I'm using the same color. So, and you know what? I just realized I forgot to get my lie out of the soap room. So I will be right back. Okay. We have our lye. I can't believe I left my lye in the soap room. I haven't done that one yet. Okay. Oh, glasses on. Let's pour our lye in here. Scrape this out. All right. Yeah, these uh, lips that I'm going to fill up are for a different project. Let's get Freddie all put together. Burp him. Turn him back down to one now. He's much quieter on one. I'm so excited to be doing this summer collab. I love doing these. I love seeing the creativity that all you know, that our community has. They're definitely, my uh, soapy sisters and brothers are definitely some creative people. Um, this soap that I am making is called Vacation. And it is um, inspired by the Go-Go's Vacation. So it's definitely gonna be fun. The fragrance I'm using is incredible. But I am not going to put fragrance in it yet because I'm going to fill up these little lip molds, like I said, for another project. I'm always working on four things at once here in my kitchen. But, and you'll see this video being made uh, soon. That I'm using these little lips in. Okay, get my washcloth. Let's 
got to do that real quick. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right. And I need my mold. I'm going to put a little bit of fragrance. Oh, I want to put a little bit of yogurt in here too. Just a little bit. I'm going to see if I can't stir that in by hand. I may have to use Freddy for that. Oh no, it makes him really good. Okay, so the fragrance is called Weekend in Maui and it's got 0.2% vanillin. Uh, Nature's Garden, it says, imagine a weekend getaway to a tropical island. The fresh fruits, flora blossoms, and warm air of this fragrance set the tone for a mini escape. So the notes, the notes, a beautiful fragrance. The notes in it are Valencia Orange, Italian Mandarin, Cassius, Anjou Pear, Star Jasmine, Plum Blossoms, Vanilla Orchid, Sandalwood, Golden Amber, Musk, and Palm Woods. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. Hopefully, at least I'm not going to have to wait too long. I stick blended this <coughs> for a while. So here's my first layer. And I'm using pink as the first layer. Um, because in the video for this song, they have this like really great 80s, fake 80s thing where they're <laughs> water skiing and they're wearing these like purpley pink bathing suits. So that's why we're doing the pink layer on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to let this set up and I am going to texture it. So I will, uh, after I'm done scraping this out, I'll bring you guys back when I want this completely set up before I pour my next layer. So make sure there's no, oh, I got an air bubble. I got a pop. Boop. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we will be back to pour the second layer. We're back. Um, I forgot to mention before that this is our Isis recipe. And so in my lye water, I have not only distilled water, I also have aloe vera juice and um, of course sodium hydroxide. I have sea salt and organic cane sugar. I have a lot of colors to mix. This took a very long time to set up that pink layer that we did. Um, I did texture it. I textured it off camera. I apologize. I totally didn't even think about turning the camera back on <laughs> to texture it. But uh, I have a lot of colors. Um, and I'm piping on the top of this so it's not setting up fast. Doesn't bode well for my piping, so I may have to stick blend that piping a little bit longer. So, alright, let's get Freddy on here. Okay. I'm gonna put my organic. Greek yogurt in here. It's all runny. I keep it in the, I freeze my yogurt. Um, I buy big containers of it just at the grocery store. And I freeze it in ice cube trays because those are all like one ounce. And I thaw it out as I need it. So let's try to get some of these bubbles out. Got bubbles. Got bubbles. And I'll show you the colors we're using here in just a second. Okay. Get some of these bubbles out of here. Well, there's a lot of bubbles in there. Okay, this is Gorgeous Blue 
by Crafter's Choice. This is Lapis Blue by Crafter's Choice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I'm sorry. This is Gorgeous Blue. I'm sorry. This is Gorgeous Blue. This one was Celestial Blue. My bad. And then we have... Uh, we have a, almost a mess. Boy, I have all these cups out here. And I have so much more room. This is a dolphin fin blue. I have so much more room down here than I have upstairs. And I'm still trying to make a mess. This is the lapis blue. Which is completely, absolutely gorgeous. And for the piping, I'm using Gold Coast Holiday. And I have some titanium dioxide here as well that I'm going to be using. And for the second layer, because we have to have two distinct separate layers, I am doing an in-the-pot swirl with this one. So let's get our white in there. I'm going to do my pipe, set my piping off too. Oh, well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, for boy, I'm really trying to make a mess, I'm telling you. of this white and just a little bit more piping just in case if you hear uh, my family upstairs I apologize it is 7:22. like I said I mean I usually soap at night but I've been soaping during the day, or in the evening, after dinner-ish, quite often lately. I want to get as much of this out of here as possible, because we're going to use this bowl again. This is what we're going to do our in-the-pot swirl, and I would not like, I don't really want to have uncolored batter in there. Now this fragrance, I, I mentioned it before, has... Um, 0.2% vanillin in it, <clears throat> but I think that it's not going to be a big deal if I put it in my um, in my white because I put a little bit extra TD in there, so we could hopefully not uh, we could overcome that little percentage. According to Nature's Garden's website, it just turns sort of like a, a beige if in, you know, normal tilt batter. I probably should have put the fragrance in here, too, so you guys didn't have to watch me stir these twice. <laughs> but, I can't wait to show you the embeds I made for the top of this soap. It's going to be so great. I love these blues together. They look so good all in one little pot. Okay, get my gold. Actually, maybe I won't have to wait too long for piping. We'll see. Okay, let me stick blend this white really quick. And then we'll be done with Freddy. I'm going to put a little bit of fragrance in there too. Oh, 
Okay. All right, let's put some fragrance in all of these. Stir them in. I hope everybody's week went good. Mine did. We uh, had a whole bunch of shows scheduled that got canceled, but you know, our online order, our online sales are are steady. So you know, I mean, there's not really anything we can do right now about it. By the time you see this video, um, hopefully, everything will be reopened. I would hope so anyway. All right, I'm gonna throw this in its piping bag before we get to the rest of that. So I don't have to worry about it. Okay. Let's do our in the pot swirl. We are going to start, I'm going to plop some white in there. Our white is pretty thick. Plop some white in there. And we're just going to go down. The line here with our blues. And put some more white in there. I'm going to grab a chopstick to swirl this with. Okay. more white in there. Oh, and on the counter. <laughs> you know what? If you're not messy, you're not soaking correctly. That's what I say. Okay. Come on now. This thickened up a lot faster in this stuff than it did in my pink, that's for sure. The pink seemed to take forever to, I mean, I guess I didn't put a whole lot of fragrance in there though. And this has just got, you know, more TD than I normally would put in this size, so that's the reason for that, thickening up. Because TD will thicken your batter for sure. Okay, we just got to get the dolphin blue in here. I like this dolphin blue. I actually don't use it as often as I probably should. Alright, let me get in my... My, 
uh, drawer here. Okay, now this is our, I want to make sure you guys can see this. Let me clean this up. My counter is terrible. Okay. Make sure you can see that. Can you see that I textured that? Okay, let me spray it with some alcohol so we can, so everything sticks. And we're gonna pour this in there. Woo! We're gonna pour it in this way. take some of this back out of here. Sorry if I jiggled you. Was not my intention. Okay. There we go. Oh. My rag needs to be cleaned off. Okay. All right put this over here and I knew I was gonna need this I want samples of this this smells amazing this is really thick so I'm not sure how exactly I'm gonna put this in these other than just sort of move it around here on here Okay, just get this sort of cleaned up. Okay. All right, we're going to have to wait for that. My piping is still liquidy, so we're going to have to wait for the piping to set up. So I'm going to do up some of these dishes because this is a mess. I love making messy soaps. They're gonna, this is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait for you guys to see the end beds. All right, so I'm going to do some dishes while I let this piping set up, and I will be back. We are back to pipe. You know what? Let me grab some gloves here. Um, just in case, because that bag is pretty full. It's better to be safe than sorry. I'd much rather be safe. Okay. Oh! <laughs> well. It's a good thing I'm... By the way, this fragrance has heated up quite a bit. Um, the bag is um, hopefully... Uh, my soap room is still cool. Um, because it's still not quite warmed up here in the metro Detroit area um, we we're getting some 60 degree days but it's still falling back down 
into, you know, the 30s and 40s at night. So, I love this Gold Coast holiday color. It's one of my favorites. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Whoop! Oh. There's some sand there. Just put some on there. I just want to use the rest of it up. Let me put a little bit of gold on there. And then we are done with that. Okay, I put some gold on my, on my ice cube tray. Okay, so now the exciting part. I made all of these little embeds. We have suns and sunglasses and flip flops. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll bring the soap up. We even have little bathing suits and yeah we got lots of fun okay these i am gonna have to take my gloves off for because they're little and they're sticking to my wax paper <coughs> i made um only one bathing suit of every color oh we have palm trees too except for the pink because as i mentioned in the beginning um, the girls were all wearing these pinkly, pinky, purpley little swimsuits <laughs> doing their thing on the fake, uh, skiing. And with these little suns, I don't know if y'all can see that that well. Maybe if I turn my ring light down just a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. I put some, uh, white mica on the suns. Um, I'm just going to be placing these randomly, um, that way, if they get cut through, it's not a big deal, but I definitely want all of, all five of the bathing suits on there, the pink bathing suits on there, because that represents my go-go's. my little palm trees oh that one broke and we got flip-flops of all different colors and bathing suits of other colors my uh, four-year-old granddaughter helped me make these in beds which was a lot of fun she was ecstatic Static to be able to she loves playing with soap dough I think all my grandkids love playing with soap dough I don't ever let them play with brand new soap dough but she was upset when she couldn't do the white because it was newer but she was having a good time playing with it I'm not sure if I'm going to put glitter on this or not I need more flip-flops and sunglasses. I need more beach.
and I did paint um, with Dark Knight Mica. Oop! Where's my tweezers? Oh shoot, where's my tweezers? Oh, there they are. I gotta turn these over. There we go. I thought I couldn't find my tweezers there for a second. And yes, I'm sort of covering this with all these embeds, but why not? It's almost summer! Well, not really, <laughs> but I want it to be, so maybe that will count. Let me put some sunglasses over there and a flip-flop over there. I think we're running out of room, guys. some on this little border here and there's two different colors of blue I don't think I can fit any more bathing suits on there so we're just going to have to stick with sunglasses and flip flops I think that's it Oh, wait, one more flip-flop. Got to find a spot for it. There we go. All right. Let me spray this. Oh, to glitter or not to glitter? That is the question. Oh. Uh, honey, to glitter or not to glitter? A little? <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> a little glitter. Not not Amanda's version of glitter. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was a good choice, honey. Okay. Here it is. I can bring you guys down for a close-up. Let me bring you guys down for a close-up. It's easier that way. Okay. So here we go. Here is our close-up of our vacation. Oh, isn't she a beauty? She's a beauty. I love all those flip-flops and sunglasses. That's so awesome. Okay, guys, I will, I'm going to put this to bed, and I will see you in 18 to 24 hours for the cut. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, we are back to cut vacation. Look at how she turned out. She is beautiful. Okay, so... Let's give her, I'm not taking end pieces off of this, um, because uh, I don't want to cut that piping off, and I have some embeds there. I mean, I know I'm going to cut through some of the embeds, but I want to cut through as little as possible. Oh, look at that. I like it and then we have I mean some of the embeds did get cut off but the other side of the bar you know that that side has enough of a design that it's not going to matter that I if I take the end pieces off so I'm really pleased at how this all turned out and I want to thank Renee Cormelis for letting me participate in this collaboration. I've had so much fun. I mean, I, don't, I granted, yes, this is only my second collaboration, but um, I've met some amazing people. I've made some friends. I've found new soapers that I didn't 
you know, know and didn't watch, and I've subscribed to their channels, and I've had a lot of fun doing these. They, they test me to, to be more creative and to, you know, especially with our specialty naming soaps after songs. You know, when these come up and there's, you know, ingredients that maybe I ordinarily wouldn't use or, you know, I don't know. It, it does. Test, trust me. It, it took me a while to figure out what I was going to do for this one. But this, I got this weekend in Maui fragrance and I was like, oh, that's got to be Go-Go's Vacation. I mean, definitely inspired me to do this. And I love to be challenged. I love to, to have a, you know, a, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Boy, I can't even think today, tonight. Um, I love to have, you know, new things thrown at me, you know, new ingredients and new ways to do things. And like this one, we had to do two layers and two different, you know, styles and or two different techniques excuse me not styles <laughs> and it, it does it I, I love the challenge of these they're fantastic so um, I forgot to mention when I was making the soap that um, there is going to be a hashtag in my description box below that will lead you to all the other soapers um, soaps and oh, I lost one of the lenses of my sunglasses but not all the soaps are going to be up at the same time because this is an international um, thing so you know like I said in the spring one we all live in different time zones so but eventually they will all be there and I can't wait again to binge watch and hopefully find some new soapers I haven't seen and find, I mean, my soapy sisters and brothers are some super creative people and I have loved getting to know all of you. It's been, you know, it's been great and I appreciate, uh, the camaraderie that that we share and I, I do I just I love being a part of it so as long as all goes well we'll be in the fall one too and again who knows what's gonna happen with that one what we're gonna experience with that one so um, I took this so soap out of the mold yesterday and it's pretty hard um, this is my Isis recipe I know better than to unmold my Isis and Osiris recipe and wait a day to cut it because it just it get my wire has such a problem getting through that that mango butter content um, definitely makes it a hard bar of soap <laughs> <coughs> okay. Yeah, I really like the way this turned out. Oh, I like that it sort of looks like a mountain in the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you the other thing I was going to do with this soap. Oops, my bad. See, I would have done it after, and I can't do that. I got to do it while we're... This one is going to have an end piece cut off, I think, while we're uh, here together. Is this fun? I mean, I'll show you what I'm going to do in to one or two of them, and then I'll, I'll do the rest of them off camera so I don't, I don't keep you guys too long. Okay, so, well, at least I have a little sample bar. And I'm going to keep this one out here so I can show you what I'm going to do. My uh, 
This was my daughter's idea, which I thought was a fantastic idea. Let me get, let me move my cutter here. My daughter bought these little cocktail umbrellas. And we thought because it is vacation that we should stick a cocktail umbrella in there for our vacationers to have their little umbrella. There's a little rubber band around there. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a little rubber band around there so it'll keep it closed. Um, so if a customer wishes to keep the keep the uh, umbrella on there if they're going to use it as a you know I, I have a lot of customers that use my soap as decoration especially during the holidays when I make like my pie pieces and stuff <laughs> so anyway yeah I'm going to put um, these umbrellas in here and and get these all settled in there. Oh, I love it. It's going to be so great. And look at that gold, you guys. Can you see? I don't know if you can see the sparkling of that gold. This That Gold Coast holiday is amazing. So anyway, I will. I'm so glad that I was able to do this again. Um, thank you, Renee, again. I know I can't say it enough. Um, and I will see you guys all um, on Friday because um, we're keeping with our normal schedule. So I will see you then. Bye-bye.